This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash, and I have fallen victim to TikTok, and I heard this clip that Bella Porch uploaded. Catchy as heck, so I had to remix it. 35k views? Jeez, you guys are nuts. Anyway, this is how I made this. So we got the drums and the bass. Super thick, super simple. But what really gets it is this vocal chop. So the first thing I had to do was get an idea of how this vocal chop would sound. And I tried to do it in compliments to what the drum and the bass were doing. And after multiple, multiple trials and errors, this is what we came up with, boys. <laughs> kind of pathetic. But if you were on my Twitch stream, you would have seen the entire thing. The first step was to get this idea that worked along with our drums and our bass. So you're like, damn, Ash, can't even hear that. Well, this is how we elevate this. Step one. And what I did is I chopped it up like this and switched it to Complex Pro. Transposed it up to the harmonizing key and then played with the formants until it sounded. Okay, that doesn't sound that great, but hang on, hang on, we will get there. Next up is to EQ. I'm taking out the lows because I have this thick, I have thick bass, so we gotta make room for it. It's gotta, it's gotta sit well. So we take out the lows and I'm bringing the sound to life. But as you can hear, we still lacking a bit, so let me show you the secret. Step two, the OTT and saturator combo. So if you're in Ableton, Ableton has an awesome preset called OTT, which brings even more life out of the sound. So let me show you step by step here. It's basically an over the top compressor, but you can hear a lot of high end coming out just by putting OTT on. And it's bringing out a lot of the noise that the formants created. So we do that. OTT again to bring even more out from this OTT. But you're like, damn Ash, that's a little quiet. We're gonna play it along with our drums and drop. Still can't hear it, bro. Oh, easy. That's where Saturator comes in. You hit that. You bring the drive up. Woo! 900 IQ move. No OTT is over the toilet, exactly. Soft clip is on. And then I just reduce the output to keep it from clipping over here. That's essentially the sound. Takes this shit from blah to wah. My jokes are really hidden today. And that moves us to step three. This is what's called post-processing. This is the type of processing that's more subtle. It doesn't really affect the sound too much, but it helps it balance within the entire mix. What I've done here, is I've put on a limiter. And as you can see, I'm keeping an eye on these little gain meters because I'm trying to avoid distortion here. And what this is doing is it's taking any loud peaks and bringing it back down. And I put on another EQ that takes out the lows that might've been introduced by the OTT and saturator. Because remember, anytime you put a saturator on, it messes with the waveform. So it can introduce different sounds. So another EQ to tame those. It makes such a difference too. And then I'm boosting it where I want to hear the note. Thus bringing it even more to life. And the final step is a sidechain compressor. Very, very important so that your drums really, really cut. Them. Then lastly, I use this plugin called Smooth Operator because I'm a lazy boy. I don't want to do audio engineer things. And this finds any resonances in your sound and ducks them automatically. Now you can totally do this on your own without this plugin. You take an EQ like this, open it up, I like to put this headphone on, gain to max, Q to max, and then you just sweep around. You literally put, this is audio engineer stuff. You loop it, and then you like. So you, you sweep around until you hear something distracting. Like that, and then you just cut it. Open up the Q a tiny bit, but only like three to five dB. And you do that multiple times 
And sometimes you might have to automate it because you get different residences. And I'm like, oh, I just I just don't have the time for that. And that's why you get guys like Smooth Operator. Anything that makes my job 10 times easier, you just grab it. So love you. Papa, love you. So that's done. Sounds great. I'm going to hit up Bella. Get her to do another music video like this. Maybe even put it on a Spotify canvas. Just like today's sponsor, DistroKid. Did you know that once you upload to DistroKid, you can link your Spotify artist account and get some awesome bonuses? Just like the canvases I mentioned. If you've ever been on Spotify, you've seen those cool looping videos on your favorite songs. Well, guess freaking what? By linking your DistroKid account to your Spotify account, that gives you access to add canvases to your own music. You can even get instant verification on your Spotify page. Bask in the glow of that sweet, sweet check mark. Best of all, this is all totally free and included with your DistroKid membership, which, by the way, you can get 7% off your first year using my VIP link. So, what are you waiting for? Sign up for DistroKid and use my VIP link to do it. Go ahead. I'll wait. All right, you did it. Sick! With my clout up at least 3%, hopefully Bella Portugal knows. Actually, listening back to this, the vocal chop still feels a bit empty. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to duplicate it. You can go control click, bring it down, and then I'm going to octave it down one. That's going to look like this. You can use shift down to adjust anything by an octave. And the form is stay the same. What do what that sounds like. Okay, trust me, this is going to be a great layer. So step, <laughs> step one, once again, duplicate layer. We already did that. Easy. Step two, we got the sauce. So once again, I've done an EQ to take out the lows, but then I am also boosting it a little bit on the lower end so that we balance it out and cutting out the highs here so that everything works. But no, the magic, the actual magic. Let's freaking go. OTT and saturator combo. <laughs> Dang boy, you sounding thick. So before these OTTs, I put this vocoder and this is the crazy stuff. You put it to modulator, you go enhance, and then I switch the form it down a little, mess with the dry wet, but it adds this hollowness that OTT pulls out and makes it sound like almost a little metallic. <sighs> helps so much with the layering underneath this vocal chop. But especially here, you get these cool like percussiveness. Step three, again, same post-processing. Limiter, EQ, but this time boosting again where I need it to be boosted. It just layers so nicely, holy. Last but not least, our side chain and our boy Smooth Operator once again. And everything is now balanced. And this just layers so well with our thick basses and drums. And then in the last section here, I changed up the rhythm of the chops just to give it a bit of variation. Leading us to the most epic ending ever. If you like what I'm doing, if you learned something, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to get your hands on this project file, you can grab it on my Patreon. Thanks once again to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Follow me on my socials and stuff. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye.